We are Jordan and Megan. We live and travel full time with these two goofballs, Max and Allie, in our converted cargo trailer. In this episode, our perpetual adventure takes us exploring in a decommissioned nuclear processing plant. Riding on the side of a helicopter. If the helicopter gets real quiet, we're going down. And we were able to connect with friends and house guests in our tiny home. But before we got there, wow, look at that. <laughs> we experienced our first flat tire. Over the winter, we lived in our trailer inside a machine shop in Columbus, Ohio. Most people wake up to an alarm clock. For three months, we woke up to this. It was a win-win, a fantastic opportunity to prototype our next product for our business while finishing up some necessary last touches on our build. We often had machines running well into the night and had spent long, long hours working on our project. It wasn't ideal for the dogs, but they were good sports with their asphalt backyard. With the shift of daylight savings upon us, days began to feel longer with more light we were all ready for some sunshine and spring. We got a much later start than we would have liked, but it wasn't the end of the world. I imagine the tire is garbage. Approaching midnight, we got a flat tire on the trailer, maybe a half an hour outside of Charleston, West Virginia. Oh. First try. No. First try. No. Both of us jumped on, replacing it with our spare tire. Look at that. <laughs> yep. We worked pretty well together and had it off the trailer in no time. Everything looks not destroyed. We were relieved to have no real issues and to get back on the road. We stopped at the closest Cracker Barrel in Berkeley, West Virginia, knowing we wanted to get an early start on the drive the next morning. Spring was just starting in Virginia and North Carolina. It was a pretty drive. We made pretty good time given our circumstances. We were eager to see friends in South Carolina and excited to reveal the product we had worked on so hard all winter long in Ohio. If these shotguns break, they could break. Yeah, but not, but not until we get off the helicopter. Have you all ridden the helicopter before? What's the mindset when we're dealing with the birds? Safety, 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 right? You'll be walked out to the aircraft. To push the weapon down, come in from a 45. Sit down. Slide back. Jesse's gonna come up, he's gonna strap you in. The helicopter just real quiet, we're going down. <laughs> <laughs> it was exhilarating riding on the side of a little bird.
you could even see our tiny home as we flew over. Then he gets up, we go separate ways, the helicopter leaves, I walk over to him before I even get to him. <laughs> yup, that's exactly what happened. That is so great. We explored the rooftops of the building and even took time to watch the sunset. We took a break from exploring to get dinner started. We used our stovetop, instant pot. It worked long as it closes. and Go Sun Fusion Solar Cooker to cook a meal for nine. While we waited for dinner to cook, we grabbed our headlamps and went to explore the tunnel. We all chose to fast rope. Nice. Oh, it makes that look easy. With our exploring done, it was time for a smorgasbord of food. The best part was the pulled pork and cornbread. Is fire warm enough for you guys? Yeah. yeah. Don't even have to back up the back up line. After a full day, it was nice to get off our feet and relax by the fire. S'mores were a must. Our trailer was a mess, but that didn't matter. It was all part of having good friends willing to hang out in our tiny home. This was our first time hosting. Even with our two big dogs, we were able to sleep five. We only have beds for four, so someone had to sleep under the couch. Good night, bottom bunch. Good night, 
top bunk. Right middle bunk. A big shout out to our friends willing to come out and support us. Did you guys have fun? And a big thank you to Wallace for letting us winter in his machine shop. want to keep following our perpetual adventure subscribe and we will see you next time <laughs> oh, no, <laughs>